from the Quick Journey blog and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below letting me know what it is you would like to see here on the Quick Journey YouTube. I share about simple homemaking, recipes, attainable decor, and ways to live a simple, beautiful life. Today, we are gonna be talking about my future garden plans. I'm gonna share a little bit of history with you and what I'm doing this year to help have a successful garden. Okay guys, I have a new thing I am trying this year. I live in a neighborhood where you are not allowed to have permanent like gardens, vegetable gardens in your yard. Um, it's supposed to help keep things beautiful and you know because sometimes people don't keep up with the weeds and things like that so I totally get it but for someone like me who loves to dabble in gardening I am no like amazing master gardener so if ever you have tips or tricks for me definitely leave them in the comments I am totally open to helpful tips because I want to get really good at gardening. I know you're never a complete master. You're always learning and tweaking your craft, but I definitely want to improve and learn where I can and grow year after year. So this year I decided to do a different approach to gardening. Last year I shared my herb garden that I did with you guys. There's a video here I will uh, link it above in the card so you can see that if you want to. I put them all in terracotta pots which looked so charming. I loved them and I put them on a simple garden stool and had my herbs growing there. I put tomatoes in big terracotta pots and had them sitting in a very sunny spot uh, off of our back patio. I will try and put a picture if I remember so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And they all did really, really well until late summer when the tomatoes were supposed to be like thriving. Um, you always think you're gonna get a huge tomato harvest in June and you don't. It comes at the end of July or in August every single year. And it's kind of when you're done gardening and you're kind of ready to tuck everything away. Then they decide to give you an abundance of fruit. Uh, so anyway, that seemed to work okay, but the pots kept falling over. Um, it was really difficult to keep them well watered. Here in the Midwest, you can have some really, really, really hot, dry summers. It just depends. It just changes from year to year. Um, but you really have to keep things watered well, and I had a difficult time keeping everything watered to where they were thriving. So. This year I am doing something a little bit different because I need something where I can grow an abundance of herbs and vegetables and things of that nature in a very small space. So I am trying vertical gardening. I have a friend local to me who is starting uh, her greenhouse business and she is starting my vegetables from seed for me. She is the one who recommended that I do vertical gardening. She has lives on a huge farm with lots of land, has uh, lots of raised beds, but she also uses this special vertical gardening planter and she raves about it. It's called the Green Stock Garden. And I'm gonna share it with you today because after she raved about it, I went and purchased one, did a whole bunch of research, and I am so excited to see how it goes and I wanted to take you guys along with me so that if you're someone like me who either struggles to keep things um, growing in such a small amount of space or who can't have in-ground gardens or whatever it might be. Maybe you have an in-ground garden, but you'd also like to have something growing close to your house. This gardening system seems like a dream come true. So I am really, really excited about trying it. I bought my first planter. I might buy another one. It just depends on how many plants I get in this one planter. Um, but I'm just really excited because I feel like this could be the answer to my gardening problems. So the green stock comes in different colors and it also comes with a three tier or a five tier. And what happens is you plant plants in each tier of the garden and then there is a watering vessel up top. So you water up top and it drips down the whole entire vertical planter 
in the perfect way that everything gets watered evenly. So it's not like the stuff up top is saturated and the stuff in the bottom has like nothing. It is a special patented system where it waters everything exactly as it should. And it, it can support itself. You can buy a cart or a dolly type thing so that you can turn it and move it, whatever you wanna do, it's completely customizable. I ended up getting, I think it was called cement or stone. It's kind of a grayish beige color. Um, I just wanted to keep it neutral and that's the color I went with and I went with the five tier. And there are two different types of planters. You can get the garden one, the regular one, or a leaf one. And the leaf one is for smaller plants or for like if you're just wanting to grow a bunch of lettuces and things like that. It's really great for that. If you're wanting to grow more substantial crops, you need the regular garden stock or green stock because the pockets where you plant are deep enough to be able to grow pretty much whatever vegetable you want. So I am so excited to try it out. I got the regular one and I got the five tier. So the box just came in and I've been holding it for a while and I finally opened it and filmed the process so I thought I would share with you just the unboxing of the green stock vertical garden so you could really see what it looks like Okay, a really quick like pre-planting tutorial for you is you have these uh, sections and so this is where you would fill it with soil, really high quality soil. Put either your seeds in it or your little plants that you um, have going and then you would put one of these water reservoirs in the middle and this has little holes. Do you see the little holes? Hold on, let me see. You see the holes? Um, that is what is going to take your water to each different section, and it's going to water your whole green stock unit perfectly. So this goes in the middle, and then you just fill your next tier, and you stack it on top, and it'll fit in there perfectly. I'm not going to snap it together quite yet because I'm not planting right now. And then you'll do another water reservoir on top and you'll just keep stacking. Now they have three tiered ones which would be this height and I got the five tier one because I want to have a lot of vegetables. And then the very top, this is their patented um, green stock water reservoir that you fill it with. And there are lines that tell you how high to fill it. You see the lines? Maybe not. Anyway, and so it has holes as well. And the water will just drip down into these reservoirs exactly how it should, exactly how you would want it to drip down and fill up every section of your green stock. So, I am very excited, very hopeful that this is going to be something that works for our family and for our situation that we have here. Um, so, I will keep you updated, but I definitely wanted to show you, and this is a color, it's more of a beigey color, but I think it's neutral enough that it won't stand out a lot whenever it's up against the house. So. Anyway, this is what mine looks like. So that is the actual planter itself. And I thought I would share with you a few plans I have for what things I want to put in my planter. 
My friend Jenny is starting them from seed, like I said, and I kind of gave her the reins. I told her things that I knew we would eat um, and just told her I want the highest quality you can find of seed and just plant what you think we would like the best that you think will do well and I trust you. So anyway, she is gonna be getting me a cherry tomato because my daughter loves to just pick them off the vine and eat them. So a cherry tomato, a paste tomato that I can use to make salsa and pico de gallo and things like that with. And then a beef steak tomato for BLTs and hamburgers and things of that nature. She's gonna get me some lettuces, which I am thrilled about. And if everything goes well, I think I'm gonna do some winter lettuces and cabbages this winter. So I have big plans to try and use it year round if at all possible. She's gonna get me some strawberries. Um, I definitely wanna try strawberries. And even if I don't get enough to make like strawberry pie with or something like that, I want my kids to be able to pick them off the vine and eat the strawberries. So she's getting me, she's starting me some strawberry plants, some bell peppers. She's getting to do lots of herbs because I cook with tons of herbs. It'd be like cilantro and basil, a small mint plant that will grow to be huge. I'm sure um, I'm doing thyme, rosemary, lemongrass, chives, and I think a few others but that I wrote down that I can't recall. So anyway, that's what we are starting with and then I might add more. I hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of the Greenstock Vertical Planter. I am so excited to use it. I hope you enjoyed hearing about what I was going to plant this year. If you are a gardener or whether you're a master or not, I would love to know the things that you plant that you and your family love. Um, definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have tried the green stock or if you plant more in ground or if you also do vertic a different vertical planter. I would love to hear about that. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me on my YouTube channel. Let me know if there's anything you want to see below. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye.